hi and welcome surprise surprise arrivederci sicily we are now in sawadee Cup in thailand in bangkok actually uh, only here for a short time we're just about to get the train out to the airport and we're heading to vietnam so i'm going to take you along for the journey uh, it should be quite exciting we're only there for a, a, an exploratory visit but you might as well come along my train is approaching the, the flight's a couple of hours i'll try and uh, vlog some of it for you so see you on the other side Okay, so that's pretty painless. That's a uh, air-conditioned train to the airport. Cost about uh, 25 bucks. Yep. So, it's about a dollar. So it's always good to allow yourself plenty of time. We've uh, got about three hours before the flight. So nice, clean, bright and airy airport, as you'd expect never flown with a jet before so hopefully they're half decent airline jet star jet star jet it wasn't expensive it was uh, quite reasonable so we're in the airport i'm not sure exactly where you can see the flight boards up there usual big airports traveling can sound a lot of fun it's not my favorite part of uh, of traveling if you know what i mean i mean i like being in places i just don't overly like going to places so we've arrived jet star 668 okay so nice and simple very quick uh ticket check-in just had to because we've got no bags as well which is great oh we've got only our backpacks uh which makes it really nice so we've only got you think about two hours Good. Okay, so we've just done passport control. Nice and easy. The beautiful um, like tug of war serpent thing going on down here. Turn around, and let you have a look. So you can see the the serpent here wraps around this centre. I'm not sure if anyone knows what the significance of this is. At the end here, you've got a, a three-headed serpent. It's beautifully made lovely colors I mean look at look at the face of these guys and at the end it sort of culminates in this three-headed serpent so it almost feels like a ship because you've got this wave structure at the bottom and it looks like the the, the bow of a, a boat but it isn't obviously or well, maybe it is symbolic of a of a boat you've this purple deity up here some of us have been waiting longer than others obviously missed his flight now a heads up like many airports not every airport in the world but many airports in the world it's extortionately expensive now we changed some cash here just to get a few Vietnamese dong but um, the rate is, is, is not good as we knew but we just got a handful of dong just to uh, pay for the taxi on the other side 20 50,000 200,000 10,000 dong 100% it is better to change your currency when you get to Vietnam I've started to wonder what duty free is about in these airports as you know Michelle and I travel a lot um, we've been traveling now for over two years pretty constantly and I never see anything in these hotels uh, in these hotels in these airports that looked you know uh, why would you want to buy bottles of very expensive whiskey in an airport I don't know it, the prices don't look good the Dolce and Gabbana stuff that's for sale looks ridiculously expensive. So yeah, you're not gonna you know eat before you come to the airport um, or budget and factor in for the fact you'll be paying probably close to twice the price you would do out on the streets. Not many airports in the world have these big soft sofas in, so that's uh, quite interesting. You can kit if you've got a long wait. And often when you travel a lot, you do want to have uh, a bit of a rest if your, your body clocks all over the place which ours was when we arrived here in Bangkok, we were starting to get straight. Now a lot of viewers will wonder how on earth we ended up from Sicily to Vietnam. Well, of course, you know we had the car. We had to drive up through Europe. We didn't vlog that drive up because 
uh, it, it, sometimes it can be just a bit tiring. We just wanted to enjoy the, the drive up through, uh, through Europe. Uh, we had to uh, get rid of the car in Europe and, and then arrange the flights over here. So it's, it's taken a bit of time. And I know it is nice if we can share that experience, but sometimes, you know, I have to uh, understand we, we travel a lot and sometimes it is just nice to uh, do it without the cameras, but we are and we always plan to uh, break this surprise as to where we are. One or two people may have worked out that we were going to uh, Southeast Asia uh, again and um, we're really looking forward to Vietnam because I haven't been there before. So uh, Hanoi, here we come. So we're almost Jetstar's just down here. I said I've not flown Jetstar before, so we'll see what it's like. I don't think they like you filming too much, so we'll probably not film getting on the plane, but we might film a little bit on. And next stop, Hanoi. Now I tend to get a little anxiety on the flight. I'm not bothered about flying, that doesn't trouble me at all. But um, it's getting the other side, because we haven't booked anything. And um, when you arrive, there's all sorts of uh, things you've got to watch out for when you're picking up taxis or buses or whatever we have to do to get into Hanoi Centre. And hopefully it'll go fairly smoothly. But um, yeah, I get a, a little bit anxious about it. Michelle, Michelle doesn't worry. She's quite happy. So we'll see when we get there. I haven't been on a, a, a plane for a long time that's got so many Westerners on it. There's a lot of European looking faces on here. So we're right at the, the front of the plane, I believe. So we'll check it out and see what we have. What we have is a big queue because they're, they're boarding the back of the plane first. Okay, we're near the door. So, Please switch off your mobile phone until you leave the aircraft. That's nice, and the guy, um, the guy over here got a whole row sat next to us. Maybe and use uh, 10 minutes after takeoff. Thank spare you. row in front of us as well. <laughs> so, Jet Airs, first time, give it a try. Jet Star. <laughs> Jet Star Asia. Jet Star Pacific Everyone will be alright if I'm not live by satellite. It's a beautiful day, I'm running away. Don't bother to Facebook message or call me. Cause I'm living life in airplane mode and everything is okay. I just want to play, unplug for the day and live in the moment. Cause I'm living life in airplane mode, yeah. Okay, we have landed in... Vietnam in Hanoi. So here we are, we're in Hanoi Airport, uh, Moi, ba, Moi Bay uh, Airport, I'm not sure the name, forgive me. Uh, that's the airport. It's got free Wi-Fi, which took a little while to connect, but it's all good, and we've just ordered ourselves uh, an Uber taxi, Michelle's just there. Um, Uber seems to work here, excuse me, Uber seems to work here as well, and uh, it's all good. It's 265,000 dong. Sounds like a lot of money. I don't think it's too much. You can check that out. I think it's probably about 10 or 15 dollars uh, Australian. So uh, yeah, it's all good. And the weather's a lot cooler here. I've got long. I've got my longs on, and uh, it's a lot cooler than it was in Bangkok for sure. So the the young couple there, they've actually got, and I think it's probably a sensible thing to do. Um, they've got a, a minibus picking them up from their hotel. Many people, uh, many people here 
take that option. But um, I was reliably informed that Uber worked and it's done pretty well from us, uh, for us on the trip so far. So uh, it's all good. Okay, so we got the guy, he's coming from, um, from the Uber and he's taking us to the hotel, which is great. Now let's have a look out here. It's really overcast today. Really looking dark, but it's getting to about 4.30 or so. Yeah, five o'clock. Five o'clock. So it's five o'clock and um, it's all good. This guy has just uh, telephoned the, the hotel to get directions. Um, apparently it's not quite right, but we will see. been past a uh, French bakery which uh, looks great to me even from here on the side of the road very interesting the, the way that the French have had some influence on on the Vietnamese cuisine tricky towards the end. The driver we had dropped me just at the road, but he walked us down here. This is Finnegan's, this is the family, this is the hotel. So we found it all right. And it's in a great suburb. Lots of good stuff going on outside. And uh, yeah, going up and check up our room. <laughs> Enjoy your stay. Thank, Thank you. you. See you later. Yep. Okay, no Okay, cool. So I'll give you a little sh show around in a moment. Right. Got us out a nice little balcony. This is Old Town Hanoi. You can see down here, a little back street. There's lots of little cafes, lots of eateries. So I'm gonna, lots of horns beeping. I'm gonna leave you here. Uh, we're gonna settle in and I will take you down some little streets and we'll check out what food's around in the next vlog. Take care, love to all, be good, share the love. Give this a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. just stepped out, only briefly. I'm just, uh, this is just outside the, uh, the hotel. It's pretty full on, pretty, uh, pretty hectic. I like the atmosphere very much. You've got to watch yourself on these streets though. They're, they're pretty, pretty, um, pretty full on. So first little stop, I'm going to get myself a, a coffee. These guys have got um, croissant here. So I'm going to get myself a cappuccino. I'm going to get Michelle and I a ham and cheese croissant because we're, we're just a little bit hungry. Uh, so it's a good little neighbourhood. Beautiful, real, proper coffee. Nice. I'm living life in airplane mode, yeah.